up? Welcome to the Virtual Deal Factory Daily. Super excited to have you here. You might notice it's a little rainy and it's a little dark. Uh, it's because it's a little different time of day than I usually shoot because you're on family vacation with me. We're here out in the Panhandle of Florida and actually uh, we're driving to a little town called Watercolor. Um, I'll tell you why we're going to Watercolor in a minute and also tell you what you have in store today because I want to talk to you about where did these COOs come from for the next COO. Some really interesting marketing lessons that I'll directly apply to your business and uh, some other cool stuff I'm going to share along the way. So first let me start with this. Pretty funny. I don't know why but you ever get that feeling like a weird kind of feeling. I had this feeling and it was about uh about two weeks ago, and I just went to Charlene, and I said, I got this feeling. I said, I don't know why, but I kind of want to go to Chile. I know nothing about Chile. I don't even have met anybody from Chile. Um, I don't even, all I, 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 do chili peppers actually come from Chile? I know nothing about Chile at all, but I was just kind of like, I want to go to Chile. And then, uh, so now we're out in the panhandle, uh, doing our slow travel for a couple weeks here, having a great time, and uh, going, I'm driving home, and I see a a sign uh, in front of this wine and cheese place for a Chilean barbecue tonight. And I was like, this is it. You know, I mean, I, I don't believe in signs like that, but I was like, how wonderful is this? A Chilean barbecue. So I'm super excited. That's where we're going tonight. Uh, we might be able to get a glimpse, depending. It's starting to rain a little bit, but hopefully we'll, I'll be able to get you a glimpse of some of the music and uh, uh, some of the food, because I don't really know a whole lot about uh, Chilean barbecue, other than I love South American food, and if it comes off a of barbecue, I get excited about it. Now, let's talk about the next COO. Where did these guys come from? And there's just a magnificent marketing lesson in this. So we went the very traditional route when we started recruiting for the next COO. We actually put up some uh, some ads on Craigslist, on some of the major job search engines. I even went to a place called Workforce Florida, uh, which is the Florida uh, employment office and placement office. Some phenomenal talent there, directors of operations, former CFOs, so on and so forth. Some really, really great people people and so uh, what happened was we put these ads up and now what's really interesting is we put our first set of ads up and we put up a ton I had my uh, executive assistant uh, Mark V uh, Mark had his uh, executive assistant Amanda and they were just like pumping ads out talking to people real recruiting talent and the crazy thing was was like the first four or five days we got like zip we got like two applicants and it was ridiculous I was like why are people not responding why aren't we getting the talent and, and Mark Mark you know Mark's funny like this Mark's like I don't think anybody wants to work he's like I'm telling you Damien people just don't want to work and I thought that was kind of funny um, but it was true like we, we were like man great position uh, director of operation salary incentives blah, blah, blah. people just didn't want to work but then we switched it up and this is when we got an insane flood of people like more than we can handle we switched it up and we said casting for the next apprentice type show looking for a director and boom like literally we got smashed um, insane, like former CEOs of like major Fortune 500, Fortune 100 companies, uh, director of operations for 500 plus, uh, with 500 plus people rolling up to them. Just unbelievable the people they were able to get. Uh, just really, really, really incredible. Um, and so the marketing lesson is this we were sitting here pushing so hard, not getting it. And then one morning, I don't know why, I was just kind of like, Mark, we should just throw up like a casting call. Ad, and we got all the right kind of people. And it's the same kind of thing in your real estate investing, online business. A lot of times, and, and my buddy Todd put it so well when he said, you know, there's plenty of fantastic products sitting on the shelf collecting dust. It's all about the way you market something. And uh, as Shakespeare would say, you know, a rose by any other name would smell just as sweet. Not true when it comes to marketing. The way you name and position something makes all the difference in the world. And that's what we saw from this uh, from this little experience. And what was really cool is we didn't want to just recruit from corporate America. We invited everything. And so we had some phenomenal people, as I'm sure you saw from the applicants, with diverse backgrounds. People came from sales backgrounds, marketing backgrounds, uh, director of operations, technical backgrounds, even some people that are just rugged, rogue entrepreneurs that have gone through some really rough things and have phenomenal, phenomenal experience. We got them all, which is really super duper exciting. And I'm actually turning around because I need to head back the other direction. So we're gonna take a little spin. I don't even know where I am right now. Actually, I do. I'm just uh, being dramatic. Let's head back over there and we'll be there in just a minute. So we started getting all these people and uh, we had them apply. 
Uh, we asked a lot of people to send in some some videos and stuff like that, which we now have videos posted from some of the interviews. And we'll actually show you some of the behind the scenes interviews uh, once we get the first episode cut together and decide to reveal that to you guys. But um, really, really cool process of getting them in and seeing the kind of people you can attract and uh, and get into into the process. And so the next thing was we, we had them come down. We put them through a, through a very, very vigorous interview. I actually gave them some project questions, asking them how they had accomplished some of the major tasks within VDF. Uh, they answered it, and then based upon that, we decided to have some of those people come through and give them the opportunity to campaign inside the virtual deal factory. And again, I was so excited because we didn't limit it to just saying, well, you have to have had experience with real estate or you have to have had online marketing experience. They come from all different kinds of backgrounds because I know myself, I didn't come from an online, I, I, I was in a former accountant slash screenwriter who ended up being an online entrepreneur. Uh, Mark came from a background where he, uh, as he'll tell you his, his, uh, himself, he barely graduated high school yet was crushing it uh, with actually a, a gutter business, believe it or not, installing gutters when he was like 18 years old as a self-made uh, sole proprietor. And so I believe that heroes can come from any place and, and, and superheroes in business can come from anywhere. Lou Kaz was actually working at, in, in the restaurant industry before he came to me. And as I'm sure you know, Lou Kaz, a phenomenal promoter, uh, in my humble opinion, the best promoter in our, in our entire industry. And I'm uh, proud to have them. So really, really cool stuff. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to pull up in park, and we're going to get out. I'm going to take you to this Chilean barbecue. We'll check out some of the food and uh, and, and have a little fun. So uh, just hold on one second, and uh, let me pull up and get a spot for us. Okay, so uh, I just got out, and it uh, looks like it's a little rainy, so there's no outdoor music coming up. So we'll just have to – I don't even know if you're going to be able to see anything. It's kind of dark, but let's, let's see if you can get a look at the – the outdoor Chilean wine cheese extravaganza. Check this out. This is what what excited me. As soon as I saw that big pit, when I see like a big outdoor barbecue pit, which I don't know if you can see that. Right there, she is. Wait, no, that's the car. Where is it? It's right there. Oh, there you go. Right there. You see the gentleman on the pit. Whenever you see that big smoking pit, that's an exciting place to be for a barbecue. So. We're in a town called Watercolor right now, which is, uh, there you go, little clock tower there, little clock tower action. So really cool, so we're gonna pop inside for a second, but I just remembered something I had to tell you. So interesting, just a, 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 a real just marketing and, uh, and sales tip for you, and that's this. As we were interviewing these people, I remember as people would walk in and out, at the end of the day, Mark and I looked at each other and we talked about everybody, we talked with Chris, our, our head developer and we were talking together about all the stuff and I remember we just looked at each other and we were like you know we just want somebody who's hungry and we we're like if just one of these people would call us back and say hey I want to thank you for today and I want to let you know I thought about it and there's absolutely nobody better for this position than me we literally would have been swept off our feet like a like a girl in high school meeting up meeting the uh, the prom king that's how we would have been because you want people who are confident. It's so interesting because so rarely are people willing to do that. But if you can do that in your business, whether whether you're a real estate investor, an online entrepreneur, or you're even applying for a position or a partnership, and you could look at somebody with confidence and truthfully say, I'm gonna tell you that I'm the answer. I'm the solution. I'm exactly what you need to do right now. It's just such a game changer and it just opens doors uh, when you could really be confident. And you should believe in yourself and you should push hard like that. So I better get in out of the rain, get in there, order, let's check out what's on the menu and uh, it's time for a little Chilean barbecue. <laughs> So we got a, uh, what is this, this is a, this is lamb or beef? This right here, got some lamb I think, is it lamb? It's good. It's got like a basil, red pepper. Really good. 
I'll try a little of black beans and rice. Mm. Those are some good beans and rice. Beans and rice are one of my favorite things to cook properly. So anyways, I'm going to actually go to dinner because it's uh, family time now. But anyways, hope uh, you get to go to a Chilean barbecue someday yourself. And uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for updates on the next COO.com. And uh, see you next time.